Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the MCU. We're going to talk about the state of the MCU. And we're going to talk about Captain America 4. Remember remember that movie? I think everybody forgot about it. I just it. don't think people are going to really care that much about that movie. Yeah, apparently they don't. According to Cosmic Book News, the word on the street is this movie has had some test screenings and it did not go well. Well, I think they reshot some of it before, didn't they? I think it was yeah, this one. Yeah. So this is just not sticking. No, and I'm sorry, you know, people want Steve Rogers. They want Steve Rogers as Captain America. It's nothing against Anthony Mackie, but, you know, he's playing the Falcon. He's not playing Captain America. But they're saying they didn't like the politics. Yeah, I'm bad sure. Bad acting and lackluster action scenes. I, I think people are going to look at this one, too, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, it's another Disney Plus show on the big screen and we're gonna skip it just like the marvels mm -hmm. so let's uh let's talk about this let's talk about this reaction before you into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys you get woohoo if you do woohoo Again, coming from Cosmic Book News, you got it off of Twitter. Captain yeah, I saw this yesterday. Just yeah, you did mention it. it. I did mention it to you, yeah. And uh, I, I I have to tell you, I was kind of like, eh, Captain America, whatever. And apparently everybody else is kind of like, whatever. They forget this movie's even coming out. But now everybody's talking about how bad it is. See, that, that's how it works. Like, this is the opposite of what Disney wants to right. happen, right? The only buzz around this project is bad buzz. Now, the good news is, if they're trying to do reshoots, and I thought the test screen was after the reshoots, but I don't know the order. If they're gonna try to fix it, at least they're trying to fix it. You know, like they're not gonna let it go like that, like they have in the past. Like She-Hulk? Yeah, but <laughs> put it that, that way and let it go. Just let it go, yep, yep. So yeah, here we go. Captain America 4 problems, fans sick of Disney politics. That's their headline. A test screening said to have been held where fans didn't like the politics, the bad acting, and the lackluster action scenes. Um, yeah, so the problems are said to include lackluster action. Captain America 4 test screenings revealed fans really didn't like the politics and the acting. And they changed the title. It was New World Order. Right, and they changed to Brave it to New World. Brave New World. Mm -hmm. Both of those are, are politically charged. But it is a Captain America movie, so how are you not going to be? Essentially, the title means the same thing, which is a reference to the New World Order. Um, that people were afraid of eating bugs, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. No, nothing and like it. Yeah. yeah. They said that they moved it from last summer to February. Yes. And now, when is it getting pushed back? Like, later this year, Is it pushed back right? again? Yeah, it's been pushed back again. Uh, all right, no, it's February 14th, 2025. Yeah, I don't even know when this movie comes out. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't care about any of the Marvel movies. I don't care when they come out. Like, seriously, it could be like, hey, we have another Avengers movie coming out this weekend. I'm like, well, it doesn't have the actual Avengers in it, so I don't give a shit. I mean, that's it. Like, I am not keeping track of these. I'm just like watching. This is like watching a car crash in slow motion, mm -hmm. like Disney movie after movie. The only thing I'm, I'm kind of sort of maybe holding out a small tiny minuscule glimmer of hope for is fantastic for because they have time to try to get it right and the casting doesn't look completely terrible if they do appear they make it a period piece i think it might do well i would like to see like a retro futuristic you know like 60s well, that'd be kind of cool we're already seeing you he's gonna you're gonna watch the x-men 97 today i am he's had a chance we've had some issues today but it's, it's supposedly performing well with people. They love that it's retro. I think that um, if they would do that with Fantastic Four, and that might be what they're trying to test out and see, it would it would perform well. If if the actual script and the characters act like themselves and are, are done well. Yeah. Yeah, if that, that and that's a big if. That's but, a big caveat there. But yes. again, you know, we talked about this yesterday, that apparently Disney is push, pushing Marvel to make the characters act more like themselves. Yeah, it's like Imagine that. something, but it's a little late, but at least, you know, better late than never, I guess, you know, but still. <sighs> All right. So this is uh this is coming from Twitter. And um we'll just read these tweets here. Here are the tweets from let's see this is user oh how I marvel at those marvels. Okay. Okay. They said I've been able to get some insight into what some of the main issues were at the Captain America Brave New World test screenings. Apparently, audiences were unimpressed by the film's action scenes and the chemistry between Cap and his love interest. However, the biggest issue was how audiences responded to the film's political content. Shocker. They're going to put political content when they gender swap or race swap a character. I would never have guessed that. I know, right? 
You might think that this would mean audience found it, uh, audiences found it divisive, but it was actually worse than that. They found it boring. Yeah. I'm they were so tired of it. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, look, Winter Soldier had politics in it, and it, but it was a good movie. Right. Yeah. I mean, the, the problem is, is that the Disney's heavy handedness and even if it was done right. I mean, let's be honest here. Even if they did it well, people are going to get their back up as soon as they see it because they have been conditioned to hate on it because there's been so many shitty movies out there basically telling you to hate yourself or hate somebody else or whatever because of political reasons that even if they had a good it was. It made sense for the movie. People are immediately going to get their back up against it. And that's across the board. That's yeah. not geared at any one group. Um. They said, yeah, they said they found boring. He said, I'm told that the overall feel was that the political material was uninspired and unengaging. Yeah. Shocker. Shocker. Audiences found it lacked nuance. They all lack nuance. Had a lot of exposition and really slowed the movie down. Because they're going to lecture you? I I'm sure they probably will. Person? Did I mention you're an istophobe? Did I mention you hate black people? You hate women? You hate oh, God. something else? You're a Nazi, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm told that while the three sequences that will be removed were a big part of the problem, the film's issues go beyond that and will likely include significant rewrites. Good. Uh, as well as adding and removing characters. Oh, okay. that's interesting. Well, no, I'm telling you, the one character that was rumored, I don't know if she, was she I think she was confirmed, was the Israeli version mm. of Captain America. Yeah. And I'm sure they're going to they're gonna take her out. You know, we can't have, I forget what her name was, but yeah, we can't have that character current year. We can't have that character, especially because her costume, if I remember correctly, was basically the Israeli flag. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't think. I do remember that being an issue. I wasn't sure which movie yeah. that was for, though. Yeah, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was this one. I'm told that Marvel really wants to keep the summer window for reshoots in order to avoid another release date delay. Yeah, I would not do another release date delay. You already but delayed it so February. much people don't care anymore. But they're releasing it in February. It was going to be like July, which made sense. Which made sense for Captain America. I mean, if you were going to do a Captain America movie. Well, one, it needs to be Steve Rogers, but I would release it on like the 4th of July or 4th of July mm -hmm. weekend and be like, you know, Star Spangled Banner, bitches. But that's that's not but it's probably gonna be America's awful. I, I represent what people think America is, but in, but in reality, America is awful and it's it's not fair and it's not the land of the free. And it's not the. <laughs> and they know. called it Captain America, a Star Spangled Badass. I would totally go see that. Oh, my God, that'd be amazing. That's America's badass. Or you, if you had, if you had Chris Evans doing Captain America, America's badass. America's, America. No, I'm sorry, America's yeah. ass. America's star, ass. Sp America's star spangled ass. Well, that was Wonder Woman. That was Linda Carter. She had a star spangled ass. True. But, um, I love Wonder Woman. Me, when I was little, I wanted to be her. Anyway, continue. Well, if you spin enough, you know. You, and I tried, you and I had actually. What happened was, I actually knocked my brother into a garbage bag. I had glass in it. He got cut. He had to go to the hospital. There were stitches involved. Um, I didn't spin again. Okay. True story. I think he that's the first. I think that's me. the first time I've heard that. But one. but it's fair because not long before that he dropped the jar in my foot and almost cut my toe off when I was little too. But that's a whole other story. Uh, that also involves stitches. But it wasn't yeah. that the two were completely unrelated, I swear. My anyway. little brother got his finger stuck in the car door and that involves stitches and reattaching what was left of it. Right. So what's this? Okay, well, this is going a completely different direction. Let's continue. Anyway, anyway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right. You so said yeah. spin more. I did. Okay. Well, there I mean, we that go. That didn't end well. Go ahead. Yeah, they said that they don't want to delay the film because it would be a domino effect. I, it feels like they're they're dumping it in February. They're dumping this movie in February because you don't put a you don't put a tentpole movie out in February. Well, they replaced the original slot with Deadpool. Yeah, isn't that what they said? Yeah, Deadpool's actually going to do well. And now, if they do rewrite it, but I don't, I'm, I'm not understanding. It goes from we're cutting out certain characters and scenes where we're rewriting it. So uh, you're going to need to refilm a lot of stuff then to make it work. But they were saying the same thing about Thunderbolts, weren't they? That they were refilming stuff? Yeah, I think they're basically like, oh, man, this thing is another. Basically, it's another Marvels. This is going to be another Marvels. But I'm like, it's another sequel to a Disney Plus show with replace. Well, if only Marvels someone could have predicted. Yeah, if only somebody could have predicted. And I'm sorry. Like I said, I, I like Anthony Mackie just fine. I like him as Falcon. I, I love him as Falcon. I like him. The actor himself. I think he's fun. Yeah, I think I like he, him. he seems pretty solid, right? But that's not the issue. The issue is when you replace the main characters. People want Steve Rogers to be Captain America. The whole thing was he was kind of the, the best of us from another point in our history, right? Yeah, but here's the thing. It's like you can do it you because he's been replaced in the comics. It's not new, and he's been replaced. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't last very long. As long as they don't turn him into a Nazi in this one. I well, hope to God they... 
They won't um, because that's too many too many things. You know, he's already black. They're not going to put that on him too. No, no, no. I'm talking oh, Steve Rogers. Original, Steve Rogers. Well, he's old. He's old guy, and half dead. So, um, but look, you know, I have no problem with them changing it out because like it was in the comics that way too. The problem is, then you start politicizing it because you can't just do it like he's a new Captain America. He's representing all of us, just like the other Captain America did. No, no, you're going to politicize it. We all know how that's going to go. And, yeah, and it doesn't then, need to happen. It doesn't need. Can we just have a good Captain America movie? He just happens to be, be this guy. I mean, how hard is that? What What's going to happen is because the movie's not going to be good. It's going to bomb at the box office. It's going to be racist. It's, it's, they're going to pull. The, yeah, yeah. They are. They're going to be like, well, you just don't like Anthony Mack. I'm like Anthony Mackie has been with the MCU pretty much since the beginning. Like you know, I've never I, had problems with Anthony. I Mackie. don't have a problem with Anthony Mackie. I just I, I I want him to be Falcon. Why couldn't you make a Falcon movie? You know, I mean, um, if he is, if he is Captain America, just make a good one, and not and not bring in the political shit. Yeah, I mean, God, just make a good. Th- movie. This is this is where I'm torn because it's like Captain America. I know it was always political because it is World War II. political, but also Captain America, and that's what I loved about Steve Rogers, especially how they kind of had him in the movies. Was he was from a more, uh, I guess, pro America time, right? He yes. represented kind of the idealized version of America. And it's hard to do that, you know, regardless of his black guy or white guy or whatever, it's hard to do that with a, a current year person because he was looking at the world through, through a different set of eyes, different circumstances. Mm-hmm. And he loved his country. He wanted to go serve his country. Yeah. He actually and, believes actually punching Hitler and real Nazis. Unlike yeah, the people yeah. today who just want to punch anybody who doesn't agree with them. And, and that's you're like the cartoon. You're a Nazi. Yeah. So it's probably going to be you're like, Jewish, Oh, you're a Nazi. I know, right. <laughs> how the hell did that happen? How did we, how saying. did we get to this point? I'm just, I just scratching my head every time I go to Twitter. I'm just like, what the hell is going on? That was like, wait, how did we get to this point? But like, th- I mean, he was very much a product of his generation and his creators were part of the greatest generation. And that is just something that like, it was just cool to see him interact with the more cynical modern characters and I think we're going to get kind of a cynical take on like, well, America sucks now. It's nice to, you know, wear the flag like that, but America sucks. It's awful. It's not fair. America's, you know, rigged and everything's horrible and they'll probably have a Trump stand in and all this other shit, you know, that we don't need. Um, yeah. So I, I'm not, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to do well. I don't think it's going to do know. well. It doesn't sound like it, especially no. if they're talking like, you know, they're worried they might have to push back again. And like you said, they can't. So they're just going to shove it out, whatever they have left. That's pretty much, I, I feel, I, I hate to say Which, flush it, but like, I feel like what they're doing right now with Marvel and Star Wars even is they're just pushing out the content that's already in the pipeline. It's like when you have to have a colonoscopy. You have to do the colon cleanse. Yeah, they're just they're trying to get out whatever's stuck inside the production line. Until they get the good stuff coming out. Till you know, then later. you have to reset. Yeah, and I and think... It's, it's not... But the bad thing is, because people are going to associate it with minority groups, because that's what a lot of the, the movies have been replaced by, it's not even that, but they're going to take it as... You know, oh, it's because they're insert whatever they identify Pro? as or whatever. Oh, okay. Insert what? No. No, you're talking um, about. And yeah. then it's it's really unfair to like Anthony Mackie and stuff like that because he's only given what he can what he has to work with. You know what I mean? That that's what sucks about. And, and, the, and they're gonna it's gonna reflect poorly on them. I mean, if it's not their fault. That's like you get that's right. You get people that get caught up in shitty. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Everything I've I've read about him, and like I said, I love him as Falcon. I think he's fantastic as Falcon. And basically, I mean, look, his Captain America is just Falcon wearing stars and stripes. It's the mm-hmm. same character, right? But again, I always figured he was like a, a separate. And I know they did it in the comics. I know all that. Because you're gonna well, neon. They did it in the com- yeah. I know they did, but then they went back to status quo. That's usually how it works. You know, War Machine took over. For Rhodey took over for Iron Man for a while, and then they went back to status quo. And uh, this one, there's no reverting back to status quo. We're not going to get Steve Rogers at the end. And if we do, again, they'll be like, oh, yeah, he's a Nazi now. It's a clone of Steve Rogers, and he's evil because <laughs> America sucks now. Do we mm-hmm. mention America sucks? Yeah. It's hard to make a it's hard to make a a, a patriotic <laughs> movie when you think America sucks. It's true. And Captain it? America is, no matter what, at the core a patriotic character. He is a patriotic character. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Yes. Uh, Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.